Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tom Selly with Unlimited Profits and today I want to talk about working smarter. You know, yesterday I made a post and it, I was talking about um, not being distracted, you know, executing your plan for the day with no distractions and getting the work done. Making sure that, you know, you, you get everything else out of the way so you're not distracted when you're executing your business plan, whatever the tasks may be. Today I want to talk about working smarter and I'm going to share with you a personal story uh, that I'll, I'll take from corporate America when I was at my last, my second to last day job before I went out on my own. Um, you know, Einstein said something pretty brilliant. He said, it's not that I'm so smart, it's just that I stay with problems longer. And I think a lot of us that have failed in the past have given up before we should have, for whatever reason. Uh, an emotional reason, uh, outside pressures, uh, a toxic relationship, uh, doubt, disbelief, fear. There's a million reasons why we give up, but the bottom line is we do, right? And, and that's what keeps us from the greatness that we're all called to be. So it's interesting that uh, one of the most genius minds of a century would say, it's not that I'm so smart, it's just that I stay with problems longer. And so what's the problem? Well, maybe your problem is financial. Maybe you're here at Unlimited Profits because you need to put cold, hard cash into those empty pockets of yours. And if that's the case, I'm going to say you are absolutely in the right place. You are definitely in the right place. Maybe your problem isn't as much financial, but maybe, you know, you're, you're working a day job. Maybe you're even in business for yourself. And the money thing is kind of figured out, although we can always use more, right? But maybe you don't have time. Maybe it's a time freedom issue. There are plenty of people out there that are six-figure income earners, but they're stuck on a daily grind, and they would love to divorce themselves of that pressure and of that routine. I have been there. And so maybe that's you. Whatever the reason you're here, your key to long-term success is staying inspired. What is your inspiration for going out and venturing into this quest called home-based business? What is the inspiration? What is your why? Maybe it's a bigger house and a fancier car. Maybe it's a college fund for your kids. Maybe it's just uh, you want to be more philanthropic and you want to give more to charity. Maybe you want the time freedom. Uh, I think it's really important that you be clear on what your why is. What is your burning desire to succeed? Because you're going to have to stay tapped into that regularly on a daily basis. You're going to have to remind yourself what your why is. I do it every single day. I remind myself the things that are important to me and the things that cause me to strive forward. Uh, never forget the responsibility that we have to you guys, the members, which is a, a why un, un, unto itself, right? That, that's a good enough why all alone. But I have my own personal reasons for doing what I do. Uh, I'm passionate about it, and I have to stay tapped into what my inspiration is on a daily basis. So what happens when you take that inspiration and you position yourself? You know, so many people in this industry think that it's all about sales and we're here to say that that is absolutely a misnomer that is false do you think that every single one of the guys on these camels would be buying your last drop of lemonade if you position yourself in the right place if you had the lemonade stand in the desert do you think you would sell out every day I promise you you would and herein comes my corporate America story because I want to talk about what it's like when you position yourself. It's very different from selling something. You know, Robert uh, did a training uh, last week on the live call and he said, you know, we're not salespeople and we're not practicing the art of selling. What we're doing is marketing, which is very, very different. Because the, the bottom line is this, just like you found unlimited profits, there are literally millions of people out there that are looking for exactly what we have. You don't have to convince them they need it, and you don't have to convince them that they need to spend their money with us. All you have to do is position yourself to, to, for those people to find you. And I'm going to talk about the story in corporate America back in uh, the early 2000s, like I think it was 2002. I took a sales position with a uh, dot-com company that was in the freight brokerage business. 
And when I uh, hired on with them, they had about 120 sales guys. And they had a lot of venture capital. And they were kind of like the, um, what's the word? You know, the golden company of Kansas City. They were constantly being writ written up in the local papers. And uh, they were just breaking records for growth. And they had a great, great, you know, business model and great software and everything. So here I am, uh, you know, a, a newly married father and a husband with a lot of responsibilities. And I take the sales job for way too little salary. And I remember uh, it was a very, very difficult, very pressing corporate environment there. And I remember that they had, they took us all, there was about 25 of us that started in one group. And they took us through this, uh, you know, I don't know, four week training or however long it was. And they said, if you do everything we tell you to do, you will be successful. And they wanted us dialing uh, a minimum of 80 numbers a day. We had to have a minimum of three hours of talk time. And of course, we had to have minimum uh, sales and revenue for every every week and every month. And so, and, and if, if any of you with an earshot of my voice have been in sales, you know what that feels like. Now, the good news is I had a lot of inspiration, a lot of motivation because, you know, I wanted to, you know, just, you know, break records. You know, that's kind of how I, I'm wired. But I quickly realized doing things their way wasn't going to work. I went through my whole training. I was top of my class. But their way was too difficult for me. It didn't make sense to me. They, they were spending money on leads. And here we are on online freight brokerage. And they've got me calling the guys down on the dock that don't have a computer. Now, this is back in 2002, so it was a little different. Everyone's, everyone's connected now. But back then, the guy on the dock in 2002 wasn't ordering freight online he was picking up the phone and calling the local uh you know the local courier and so it didn't make sense to me that we as a company that specializes in online freight brokering we're calling people that aren't in the habit of doing that and so i struggled with their system the way they told me to do it for a long time not a long time a few months and I realized that I needed to do something different. And what I did was I decided I was going to come in an hour early every single day. And during that hour, my goal was to get a minimum of 30 emails out to people that I knew were shipping online. And how I did that is I went to eBay and I found the guys that were uh, selling heavy stuff. And I would just send them an email. You know, just an unsolicited email because every seller has their contact information. And it wasn't just eBay. I would surf the web. I would find the people that needed what I had. And I would just leave my calling card out there. And I did, you know, some days I get 50 emails out. Some days I only get 20 emails out. But every single day I was uh, the first guy in the office in, in my group. Uh, and when everyone was coming in yawning, strolling in five minutes late, and then they're going to go over to the coffee machine and they're going to make their coffee and they're going to make some idle chatter and they're probably not going to settle in and make their first phone call for 45 minutes. I had already, you know, got 30 emails out. Now, the cool thing was that out of those 30 to 50 emails I was sending a day, I would get three or four people to call me back. And those people that call me back absolutely were looking for what I had to offer. The only thing it came down to at that point was, can I save them money? Can I give them value? It wasn't a question of me convincing them that they needed what I had, which is always the hardest thing when you're doing outbound phone sales. You've got about three seconds to, uh, to convince the customer that they need to spend the time to listen to you. So I just, I just covered that right, right, you know, like I got that out of the way so fast. And it was crazy because in a very short time, I became in the top five salespeople in that company. I did it in a matter of months. As a matter of fact, I brought in their biggest account. And I was so good at what I did that my talk time was typically five hours a day. And my numbers were crazy. Like I was just banging the freight every single day. And the interesting thing was my outbound calls were about 30 or less, but my sales manager you know, he, he had nothing to say to me. No, Tom Selly wasn't doing 80 outbound calls a day, but Tom Selly was banging the numbers and nobody really understood how I was doing it so well. And what I had figured out in a very short amount of time was I put myself in the right position. I put, I positioned myself with people that I knew were using the internet to book freight, that I knew were selling online. 
So that's what I suggest you do with your unlimited profits business, with your Gano Excel business, or if you're promoting another affiliate program or network marketing company, doesn't matter what the company is, you need to position yourself to be in front of the people that are already looking for what you have. And when you do that, it's going to change for you. You're going to realize that this thing called network marketing doesn't have to be hard. You don't have to sell. You don't have to overcome objections. All you have to do is lead, guide, and direct. And that's what we do here at Unlimited Profits. Our system empowers people and teaches people the art and science of marketing. So let me tell you, if you're feeling discouraged, find your inspiration and start thinking about how you can position yourself. Maybe you're going to need to spend a little money. Maybe you want to purchase some traffic campaigns. Maybe you want to uh, purchase some, some banner campaigns, some contextual advertising. Maybe you want to purchase some leads. Maybe you want to advertise locally. Maybe you want to print flyers and put them on windshields. It doesn't matter what you do. The point is that you want to be putting your calling card out there so people that are looking for what you have will find you. And once you get to that place where you've, you're, you're moving in inspiration and you're positioning yourself, the only thing you have to do for absolute astounding success is be consistent. You know, uh, we, we talk about the daily success habits and the consistency is the key. That's how people become world-class ballerinas, world-class mathematicians, world-class athletes, world-class musicians. They are consistent in their habits and they pick it up and they do it every single day. So you're going to need to be consistent and, and how you're going to find that consistency is staying inspired and regimenting your life. You know, I, I use the scripture a lot. Do not despise the day of small beginnings. I said it in yesterday's post. It's so important. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. So set your expectation correctly. You know, some people will get into an MLM and just, just they're barn burners. You know, they will just set the thing on fire. And in a matter of months, they're making, uh, you know, tens of thousands of dollars or, or, or thousands of dollars. And absolutely that can be done with unlimited profits, with Gano Excel, and with any MLM. Some folks are going to come out the gate a little slower. But you know, uh, it, it, this isn't a race to see who gets to the finish line the fastest. The important thing is that you get there. You know, maybe you haven't arrived, but at least you've left, right? So don't despise the day of small beginnings. Wouldn't it be incredible if you were making uh, some hundreds per month and that made your car payment? Or maybe you own your car, but you want to upgrade and now you can lease a new car maybe you're dealing with a you know a rust bucket car and now you've got an extra four or five hundred bucks to, to lease a new car how uh, impactful would that be to your life so stay inspired position yourself stay consistent set your expectation right and then the most important thing i can't say this enough you need to be grateful for what you have now and where you're at and where you're going Gratitude is absolutely the way to bring more into your life. You are in the right place with unlimited profits. You have the right system. You have the right mentoring. You have people in leadership that, that really care about your success. I can't stress that enough. I, I don't, you know, I have no clue who's listening to this video right now, but I promise you, if you're in my program, I care about your success. I care about you. I know you're called to greatness. And I know all of us have fallen on our faces in the past, but that the past does not equal the present. You absolutely can take this all the way. And I want to encourage you. You know, Robert Hollis is an exhorter of people. Bill Ebert is an exhorter of people. Tom Selly is an exhorter of people. We want to see you do great things. And if you're grateful, and you don't despise the day of small beginnings, and you realize that it is a blessing to be in the position that you're in, to have access to this information, to have this system, and to be living in an age where you can use the internet some hours per week to create residual income, which can set you free, unplug you from the system, give you the time freedom you want. There's no reason you shouldn't be grateful. So if you're struggling with doubt, if you're struggling with fear, you need to realize that you are in a great place with unlimited profits. So 
Until next time, this is Tom Selly with Unlimited Profits saying thanks and God bless.